Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some brand new information that has recently popped up on the PlayStation magazine regarding the PlayStation 4 version of GTA 5. Now an article actually managed to grab some of this information and publish it to their article which I will have linked down in the description down below as well by the way uh, just in case you guys want to go ahead and check it out for yourselves. And essentially they have a few more details which I am going to be covering in today's video. And as always guys, hope you do find the information helpful today. And with all that being said, let's dive straight into the information. So... As some of you may already know, some information was actually released earlier this week, which did state that the upcoming PlayStation magazine was going to feature a full 10 pages of information regarding the PlayStation 4 version of GTA 5. So of course today, the PlayStation magazine was actually released and the full 10 pages along with it of course, and basically some people managed to leak out some of the information within those 10 pages, which of course was formed into the article. And I'm going to go ahead and read out some of the article to you guys now, which you will have on screen as well as down in the description down below. But it states the first important details we discovered from the official PlayStation Magazine info blowout is that the game runs at a glorious 1080p. The magazine states Grand Theft Auto V on PlayStation 4 breathes fresh, also new gen life into the greatest game ever committed to Blu-ray. Glimmering 1080p presentation, hugely increased draw distance, 100 new songs, fresh wildlife, a bumper version of GTA Online. This is the sandbox you've dreamt of ever since you slotted Sony's Angular Baby onto your TV. Now there was actually some more information which was actually taken from a snapshot of the magazine itself which the article did have linked as well but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the image on screen once again and it states Farewell 720p, you've served your purpose adequately enough. Still, our eyes have been gagging for 1080p's pin sharp pleasures and the Los Santos sandbox is only too happy to oblige on the PlayStation 4. Running at a native 9020 by 1080 pixels for a game erected on hundreds of tiny in identical details. The resolution bump is a huge game changer for GTA V. Then some details underneath states signs and billboards now pop with a clarity that makes the likes of the building size hipster clothing pasta impossible to ignore. Textures assets have also been reworked across the whole game, adding in a host of new details to an almost ridiculously fastidious degree. For those partial to advanced lighting renders, steady ambient occlusion appears to have made the new gen cut, enriching the game's colour palette with added depth. Draw distances have also been massively increased for PlayStation 4. Not only can you now spot Los Santos skyscrapers from miles away, but vehicle popping is drastically reduced by, by magically disappearing Sentinel XS. So that's basically stating that the graphical improvements are actually ridiculous on the next gen versions. Absolutely going down to the very last detail, even the screws on vehicles and things like that. That is absolutely crazy for a graphical improvement. On top of all of that, the 100 new songs that was announced through the PlayStation magazine, of course, for the radio stations within GTA 5, as well as the enhanced wildlife and native 1920 by 1080 resolution. So that's some of the details that were leaked from the magazine. I presume way more details to be leaked over the next few days. Of course, there is 10 pages apparently from the PlayStation magazine and oh, this is only a snippet of what was actually leaked. And this is more going into the tiny details about the graphical improvements. So of course, guys, expect some more information about the PlayStation 4 versions uh, very shortly. And as always, I hope you did find the information helpful today. And if you did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And let me know, are you excited for the next gen versions of GTA 5? Let me know down in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, with that being said, I am going to be doing a Q&A over the next few days and plan to have it released either tomorrow or the day after. So be sure to ask me some questions for the Q&A down in the comments as well down below. And with all that being said, I will see you all tomorrow with a brand new video.